Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about allspice and the health benefits of this interesting berry. And we know that allspice is not a blend of different warm spices. It is one type of berry that's been ground up, so it has a lot of interesting properties. Now, we don't eat a whole lot of allspice at any one time, so regarding vitamin and mineral content, it's not going to be a noteworthy source in that respect. But there are compounds found in the allspice berry that are important for us and do have some specific health value, health benefits, and they've been used in traditional medicine in the cultures where the berries are native for many, many years. So I wanted to share that with you. One of the compounds is found in allspice is called eugenol. Please forgive me if I do not pronounce these exactly correctly. And this one compound might explain a lot of the health benefits found in allspice. Eugenol is also found in clove oil and that has been found to have a lot of antiseptic properties and it's been used by a lot of people to relieve toothache. Natural healers have used allspice for relieving tooth pain and topically for other types of pain issues as well, including gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, nausea, and even vomiting. We also know that allspice has some antimicrobial properties and has been used to alleviate infections. Some dentists will use eugenol to kill germs in the teeth and gums. So we know that clove oil and also allspice have something in common and can help to relieve tooth pain as well as other issues in addition to that. Kyrcidin is another compound found in allspice. It's a flavonoid that is known to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Research has found that quercetin may help to reduce inflammation, kill cancer cells, control blood sugar, and even help to prevent heart disease. Gallic acid is another compound found in allspice. It's a phenolic type of compound that has antiviral and anti-cancer properties. It is being studied for possible use as a treatment for Parkinson's disease. Very interesting there. Erisophilin, again I may not be pronouncing this correctly, is another phenolic compound that's found in allspice and it's known to have antioxidant properties and it is currently being studied as a possible treatment for prostate cancer. Now specific ailments that are known to be helped with allspice include gas, bloating, and upset stomach. I mentioned these earlier. Uh, it's believed that the, the benefit here is due to the antioxidants that are found in allspice and a lot of cultures will enjoy allspice tea to relieve an upset stomach. Now to do this you steep about a half of a teaspoon of ground allspice powder in one cup of hot water and allow it to sit for about 10 minutes. Then you can strain it and sip on it. It's best if you drink this tea between meals because the compounds in allspice could possibly interfere with the absorption of iron and maybe some other minerals as well. So limit yourself to one cup of allspice tea a day and just observe how your digestive tract reacts to it. If you don't notice any uncomfortable effects from it, then you're okay with drinking allspice tea. Ground allspice has also been used to relieve aches and pains, including a headache and sinus pain as well. Ground allspice and allspice essential oil have been used to make a poultice or a paste to relieve these types of pains. If you want to make a poultice from ground allspice, you just mix it with just enough water to make a thick paste apply it to the painful area, put a gauze or a band-aid or something over it so you don't have this sloppy mess all over the place and leave it on for about 20 minutes or so and then wash it off. 
when you're using allspice essential oil you do want to make sure that you dilute it you want to add only two to three drops of the essential oil into three tablespoons of a carrier oil of your choice it could be grapeseed coconut oil or even olive oil then massage that into the skin over the painful area in your body make sure you wash your hands well afterwards and be especially mindful not to touch your eyes your nose your mouth you don't want to get it in mucous membranes so you want to wash your hands really well if you're concerned about having that on your hands and leaving it on your skin for any length of time you can also diffuse allspice essential oil into the air to help relieve a headache or sinus pain now it's important to note that some people have had some skin reactions to allspice essential oil not everyone but some people who have sensitive skin and so if you've never used allspice essential oil before you want to make sure that you just use a little bit sparingly in one little spot to test it out and make sure that you're not going to react to it before you start uh, using a whole lot of it just make sure now if you use allspice or allspice essential oil in some medicinal way that has helped you out please share it with others below it may help someone else out there this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye for now.